Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. It's a bit fresh today, which is why I've got my body warmer on. Fortunately, there's no wind, so it doesn't feel too bad. Now, the ground is still horribly wet, so I think today I'm going to tackle my roses. Not in the American football sense, because that would be foolhardy, but in the pruning sense. So, let's start with this one, shall we? I've got this manky little shoot down here, which I think actually is mostly dead, so that's coming out. This side shoot here didn't really do much, so that's going to have a serious pruning. As for this side, I mean, there's some dead wood here that needs to come out. I think I'll take that out and that'll leave this one, which I'll cut back to here. And this one I'll cut back to two buds. So start here. I'm tempted to leave that actually. Now then. On this rather large stem in the foreground here, I'm going to take most of that out. And that just leaves this remaining long stem in the foreground. Do -de do -de do -de do -de do 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 That certainly looks a lot tidier. Next onto this evil species here. Just look at the thorns on it for goodness sake. That is just pure evil. I don't enjoy pruning roses at the best of times but this one he's a real bad boy so I've got my gloves. Where do we even start with you my friend? Where do we even start? Tidy up this sedum while I'm here as well. Well, next on my list is this one, and it's got three really strong shoots here, and I think I'm going to capitalise on those and take everything else away. Ow! So I'm left with these three long shoots and what I'm going to do is I'm going to train them up over this arch and chop them off somewhere near the top. Now yeah, then, I wonder if I can oh, bring this round the other side. Yes I can. Oh yes I can. Good news. Good news everyone. Boing. Let's try that one again, shall we, children? <laughs> Boing! Ah. Third time lucky. Ah. Lost my secateurs. I've lost my secateurs. Then I'll snip it just there. Boom, sound frozen resin fellows of our valves and bum. Snip. So now I've got three row stems which come up 
to about halfway across the arch. I'm hoping for a better display on this rose next year, but let's see. Next on the list is this one, and there's quite a few new long shoots here which I'm going to take advantage of again, and I'm going to cut out a lot of this older gnarly growth. Ow! You sell me! You bit me! Sad face. But revenge is mine! Now I'll tie these into place. Boom, 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 boom. I suppose it's a bit late for that, really. Oh yes, much tidier. Well, this one also needs a good pruning, but it's not so obvious where to start, really. Hmm. So let me show you what I've got left. I've got one, two, three main stems which are coming up this central part and I've kept a other three little shoots down here because they might come in handy in the future. And I've got a thorn in my thumb. That's not my thumb, that's my finger. I've got a thorn in my finger. And you know, you never see this on Gardener's World, do you? And do you know why? Because whenever these people like Monty Don start snipping their roses, they use a stunt double. Now, if my calculations are right, and they should be because I can count up to five, this is all I've got left to prune today. Where shall I start? Well, that's a lot of the old growth cut out of this side. I'll tie some of these newer shoots into place. Hmm, it's okay. Now the other side. Hmm. Unhand me, you brute. Well, to use a favourite phrase of mine, that was brutal. Et voilà four boxes of rose clippings for the Recycle Centre. Following last week's plea for some sharp secateurs, Sean from the Horticultural Channel says he's going to come along and show me his chopper. I can't wait to see Sean's chopper. Shameful shed. Well, you've seen my shed a lot on the outside, but you've never seen it on the inside. And that's because it's embarrassing. And I'm going to show it to you now. It's a jungle in there and it needs a really good tidy out. So every week until it's tidy I'm going to be showing you the inside of my shed and you can see the progress for yourself. Or not. Well that's all I've really got time for this week and I've got a bit of a hurty donny with all those thorns that keep stabbing me. Never mind, that's that job done for another year. So thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.